Hello, puppet. Hello, puppet, and welcome to your 2024 New Year's Slave Tasks. As always, begin by getting down on your hands and knees, kissing the floor, and out loud, thank me for these tasks. Say it again, and say it like you mean it. Say it a third time and feel every word. Good puppet. Now like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Click the little bell icon to make sure you have all notifications turned on for my channel. And go down into the comments and let me know what your New Year's resolution is. Next, grab a pen and paper so that you can write these tasks down. I want you to spend at least 20 minutes journaling today and at least once a week. I want you to get inside your own head and let your thoughts out on paper. You can do this as often as every day if it feels right. I want you to write down your goals, your fantasies, your fears. Write a letter of encouragement from your future self. Look up journal prompts online to give you ideas of things when you're feeling a writer's block. Or consider buying my shadow work journal if you haven't already. Link in the description. Next, I want you to go to a gratitude walk. I want you to spend at least 30 minutes outside. So if you live in somewhere cold, dress warmly. Or wait until it's nice enough out, but I think a little cold exposure can be really healing, provided it's not like negative 40, you know, be careful. But spend 30 minutes outside walking around and just admiring your surroundings, being present in the moment, keep your cell phone on do not disturb so you don't have any distractions and just express gratitude for all that life has provided for you. Next, I want you to clean out your pantry. I want you to go through every can, every old boss, pasta box, every stale bag of chips that's sitting around in your cupboards in your pantry on a shelf somewhere. And I want you to throw out everything that's stale, everything that's expired. And if there's anything in there that is unopened and not expired and you don't expect to eat it within the next two weeks, I want you to go ahead and donate it to your local food pantry. And on your way, I want you to stop somewhere and I want you to pick up a few more cans or boxes of pasta that you can donate. Next, I want you to spend at least 30 minutes meditating. You can do that all at once, so you can do 5 to 10 minutes a day here and there. And just focus on your breathing, or use a chant, or a mantra, or follow a guided meditation here on YouTube. Check out my other videos, I think I've got a couple at this point. Um, and just, 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 just get in tune with your body and your breathing, and just feel the improvements on your mental health that a little meditation can bring you. Task number 10, I want you to make sure that you are following me on Twitter at Goddess Jewels, on Instagram at Jewels Opia. Um, I want you to join my subreddit, subscription obviously, and join my Discord server, link blah blah blah. <laughs> You'll probably see me the most active these days either in the Discord or on Twitter, so if you want to interact with me, those are probably their best places to do so. Uh, task number 11, I want you to spend an entire night screen free. Pick a night after work where you come home, turn your phone off, and just completely unplug. You can journal, meditate, exercise, take a relaxing bath, listen to music, read a good book, uh, maybe play a game, bust out a card deck, play some solitaire, like the old-fashioned way without a computer. Just spend at least five hours completely offline 
and away from screens. Task number 12, I want you to do a subscription audit. I want you to go through your bank account, your your um, credit card account. I want you to look at where you might have a subscription service you've forgotten about coming out of your account. Um, and I want you to cancel them. You can, if you're not sure whether or not you want to cancel it, if you haven't used it in two weeks, go ahead and cancel it. You can always get the subscription back in the future. They do not make it hard for you to restart your subscriptions. But if you haven't used it in two weeks, go ahead and cancel it. And I want you to keep a tally of how much money you're going to be saving every month by canceling these subscriptions. And I want you to go to my wish tender and send me a tribute for that amount. Good. Hope Next, I want you to wash your sheets and your blankets and your towels, and I want you to disinfect your phone and any remotes and game controllers, the mouse on your keyboard, on your computer, anywhere that gets frequently touched by hands in your home. Go ahead and disinfect it. Do you know how gross those are? Task number 14, I want you to find a yoga video here on YouTube and spend at least 10 minutes doing yoga at least three times this week. Connect your breath with your body and feel how good that feels, right? And if you have a favorite yoga instructor whose videos you like to watch frequently here on YouTube, go ahead and tag them down in the comments to share those with other people who maybe aren't sure, sure quite where to find a good yoga video here on YouTube. Task number 15 is your side hustle jar. I want you to find a jar for all unexpected income and windfalls. So, you know, your tax refunds, maybe you've started driving for Lyft on the side here and there, or picking up extra money on Fiverr or TaskRabbit. And I want you to start keeping a little jar of this money, and I want you to reinvest half in yourself for future projects. And remember, if any of these... Um, and if this money has a paper trail, you need to save those receipts for tax season. And then send me the rest, obviously. <laughs> Task number 16. Find a tea that you like and drink it every night before bedtime. I want you to be present in the moment and enjoy every sip. If you think you don't like tea, I promise you just haven't found the tea that you, is right for you. You know, a lot of people think because they don't like green tea or they don't like black tea that they don't like tea. But teas have such a wide variety of flavors. Have you tried ginger? Have you tried mint? Have you tried chamomile, mugwort, licorice root? Tea comes in such a wide variety of flavors. You just need to find the one that's right for you. Maybe find a good, like, sampler pack and just try a little bit. It doesn't hurt to take a sip until you find a good caffeine-free tea that's right for you to sip before bed. And if you really can't find a tea, you could always just hot water and lemon or hot water and honey. Just find a nice warm liquid to imbibe in before bedtime that's caffeine-free and soothing. Test number 17 is a smile meditation. Spend a few minutes each day genuinely smiling even if you don't feel like it. Research suggests that the physical act of smiling can boost your mood. If you can't smile genuinely, you can try holding a pen or pencil uh, in your back teeth to force a smile, so it would go like across your mouth and your, as far back as you can get it in your mouth. And if you force that smile long enough, eventually you have like a, a fake it till you make it effect where you start to feel genuinely happier. And then once you have a genuine smile, you can remove that pen. Task number 18 for anyone working in an office or spends a lot of time at the computer, which if you're watching this, I'm guessing you probably do spend a lot of time uh, sitting, watching videos, right? I want you to practice taking desk or size breaks. Incorporate short bursts of exercise into your workday, such as chair squats or desk push-ups or seated leg lifts. Um, you can find seated yoga videos here on YouTube even. Task number 19. 
I want you to go back and rewatch every single one of my slave task videos and leave a new comment on each and every single one of them. And task number 20, explore every link in my link tree. I'm always updating with fresh delights. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful new year. And remember to keep sinking deeper and deeper for me, Papa. And the deeper you go, the better it feels. And the better it feels, the deeper you go. Drifting, floating, gliding, and falling deeper and deeper, like and subscribe.